Hello, my name is Daniel Conti with Stealth Detox Water. Today I'm going to go over installing our Stealth on-the-counter filtration system. I'm going to go over the things that come with it. So for install, you're going to need a 3 8 by 3 8 quarter inch angle stop valve to tie into your cold water line. You're also going to need a quarter inch drain saddle. The system also comes with a sink topper for whenever you have that hole at the top, you'll cover it up and you'll run your quarter inch lines down this to make it look clean. Nothing drips down below. Tools needed, you will need uh, a Phillips head screwdriver or a Phillips head drill. Also need um, a drill for, you're gonna drill through that PVC pipe underneath your sink. Crescent wrench. If you do have to drill through your countertop or your sink, if you're drilling through you know, tile and stone, you use your one and three eighths hole saw bit with a guide bit. If you're drilling through your stainless steel sink, you're gonna need your hole saw bit, one and three eighths as well for that stainless steel. This is the on-the-counter system. It comes with a spigot that we will attach to the top of it. It's also going to come with two quarter-inch lines at four foot and then a two-foot quarter-inch line. The system we also have with our system, if you're on city water, you'll, have, you'll we'll include the micron filtration system with it. Um, if you're on well system, you will need the, the three-stage well filtration system to go with it to pull out all those minerals and sediment so it's not eating up your system you get longer longer use out of it so let's go ahead and jump into it All right, so step one we're going to go ahead and attach this angle stop valve to the cold water line so if you can see here ours are labeled hot and cold um, if yours isn't labeled the best way to do this is to turn your cold water on on your sink and then if you if you think this is the one you go ahead and shut that off and it should shut the water off to your sink if it's your cold water line now that the water shut off you want to go ahead and disconnect your supply line so you can go ahead and use this crescent wrench and disconnect this. And now you want to take that angle stop valve and go ahead and attach it on there. And you just want to make sure when you put it on there that you're going to put it on there flush and it should be a smooth when you, when you tighten it down. So you want to hand tighten this all the way down. Once that's tight, you can go ahead and reattach your supply line back to your sink. And same thing, you want to make sure that just that slides on there smooth. If not, you may cross thread it and you'll need a new one. So now I got that all the way on there. Go ahead and take my crescent wrench, tighten that down. Now that's nice and tight. Go ahead and you want to shut off the water to this angle stop valve because if you turn the water back on, it's just going to spray out of here. So now the water's off to this and you want to turn the cold water back on. And once you get it all the way back on, you just want to check for leaks, make sure nothing's leaking. Water's back on, everything's good to go. Step two here, this is our mock sink, so the sink's not actually attached to our drain here, uh, but you'll, you'll see your sink attached to the top here. You're gonna go ahead and take your drain saddle, you got your foam insert, you're gonna peel that back piece off, and you wanna go ahead and take that and line it up with the circle on, on the inside of the drain saddle. Grab your two bolts, Next thing you want to do is you're going to go ahead and put it here, attach your back piece to it, and tighten it down with your bolts. I'm going to grab my drill, and you want to tighten that all the way down, that way it's nice and snug against your, your drain. Now I want to grab that 3 16 drill bit. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to run it down the center of this bore on this drain saddle and drill it out. And pull it out. Now a good thing to do is take that drill bit once you drilled that hole out and just make sure nothing's caught up in there. Because you will have to run that quarter inch hose down there. So it's nice and cleaned out. And that's it for doing the drain saddle. Now we'll move to step three. Alright, now for step four. Depending on which external filter you get, if you get the Micron or the Pre-Well filter, I'm going to go over both of them. Um, or if you don't even have them at all. So this, you can mount, twist lock, twist lock technology, comes off like that. You got your three points back here to mount with. I already got the screws tied into the wall here. So it's just gonna look just like that. And I go ahead and put that filter back on there. Locked in there. So now, on each side of here, you got these, these angle valves coming off here that breaks it down to a quarter inch. And it's labeled in and out. So the right side of this filter would be your water coming in. So I want to take that, that short hose and go ahead and push it into the angle stop valve here. 
push it all the way in, you'll feel it lock in place. And then I want to run it to the right side of the micron filter where it says in. And these are quick locks. So like I said, you just push it in there. And once you get the water flowing through it, the pressure is going to lock it in there where you can't pull it out. And that's it for step four. And then now for installing the pre-well, you can mount that to the wall as well or let it sit in the back of your sink. And you got your, your angle valves here. Same thing, quarter inch line goes to both of them. So we'll take that, that short hose and go ahead and tie it into your angle stop valve here. Push it all the way in, you'll fill it lock in place. And then you wanna run it to the right side where it says carbon block pre-filter and go ahead and push it in there as well. And like I said, when you get that pressure going, it's gonna lock in place, so you won't be able to pull it out either. And that's step four for the pre-well. All right, now step five, I got my two hoses that are about four foot, five foot. And then you see here, these are marked with black tape. So this is gonna be go to your drain. That way you know which one's which. So I'm gonna go ahead and tie in this one to my waistline here. Same thing, push it in, it's locked in place. Then I'll take that second quarter inch line and tie it into the left side of the micron. And this one's gonna run up to the bottom of your machine. And this one's gonna run up as well. So one's gonna be your water coming in and then your water going out of your machine. And that's step five. All right, now for step six of installing the IAW 1000, which is our under the counter system. We got our touchpad faucet here, the tool used to lock down the locking nut on the faucet, the actual heart of the system, which is the base, your 3 8 union connector, your power plug, and your 3 8 hose, which is gonna run to your faucet. Now let's go ahead and get this hooked up underneath in the sink. So the first thing you wanna do is take your rejected line, which is labeled here with the black tape. Go ahead and put this here. And flip it on its back. And you'll see underneath here, this one's labeled out and this one's labeled in. So and on, when you unbox the system, if it does have the, the stop plugs in here, you just pull those out. You put one finger on the collette, which is this lip here, and pull the plug the opposite way. And we put those on there because we water test systems and we don't want them leaking in the box when we ship them. So grab your waistline and connect it to your out. Push it all the way in. And take your supply line that's coming off your micron and plug it into your in. Push it all the way in. Once that's done, you go ahead and install your power plug, which I'll grab that from up here. So you just go ahead and push that in there. Now that's done, you can go ahead and stand it back up underneath your sink. And we'll go into installing the faucet now. You wanna go ahead and remove this nut and rubber washer from this. So once it comes all the way off, just gonna pull it off. Now when you're installing this on your sink, this is our model sink, so we don't actually have the faucet on there, but this, will, this isn't gonna replace your current faucet, it's just gonna be an additional faucet, because you're gonna use it for drinking and cooking. You're still gonna want your main faucet for doing dishes and other things like that. So you wanna go ahead and run the data cable all the way down. Once you get that all the way in there, that's going to seat all the way down. You just want to line it up and you'll go underneath the sink. Sometimes it takes two people, one to hold it in position, another person to get underneath the sink. And you're going to use this, this tightener, this fastener to get underneath there. And same thing, you're just going to, you can hand tighten this all the way up, back on there once you get underneath the sink, and then you use this to tighten it all the way. So either you can hold it with one hand and get it underneath the sink. Um, if it's a tight position, you may want a second person just to hold this in place and someone underneath to, to tighten it into place. All right, for step nine, now that you have the faucet installed and you got your data cable coming down, you wanna go ahead and take that 3 8 line with that union connector on one end and go ahead and you're gonna plug it into the bottom of that faucet where it's got that brass fitting um, coming off there. So once you connect that in there, which I'll go ahead and put that in there, and then you wanna take this line push it into the connector at the top of your system and push it all the way down and then take that data cable and do the same thing. Let me show you the camera. Once it's in there all the way, you can go ahead and plug your system in with the outlet and it'll fire up and we'll go over that as well. All right, now for step 10, it's booted up. Now you want to go ahead and run it. So you're going to press this button right here to start it. And will this be the first time using the system? You wanna let it run for a minute and that's gonna get all the, uh, the air out of your filters and purge the system, get everything flowing. So you wanna let that run for about a minute. 
Once that runs for a minute, you go ahead and stop it. It's automatically going to go into its cleanup cycle and it's going to stop on its own. And we'll go over that and how to use the system after this. Now, once it's stopped, go ahead and start it again. And starting it that second time just gets the solenoid on the inside of the system working, gets the water flowing. And now stop it again. And your system's installed and ready to go. You're ready to drink. Now we'll go into.